we have uh, Mr. Fred Adele and Ms. Rebecca Wolf of the Informa IBC Asia Group in Singapore today. Mr. Adele is General Manager for Asia and he looks after the finance activities, events, conferences uh, for the company. And uh, Ms. Wolf is uh, Divisional Director looking after oil and gas uh, and mining. That's correct, right? That's yes. correct, mm -hmm. exactly right. Well, good afternoon to, to, to both of you and thank you for making time for this interview. That's good thank afternoon. you. Thank you. Right. Uh, we'll, we'll start with Fred, you know, and uh, the other day we were at one of your events. Now your title says you're doing finance. Yeah. And uh, we had a lot of energy folks in that event. Tell us uh, about this uh, uh, cross-fertilization of, um, of, uh, of uh, professions uh, sure. coming to your event. Sure. Uh, as, as, I, as you mentioned correctly, I look after the finance and investments. Um, area, but that's the events we were talking, referring to was an oil and gas project financing. So obviously it is a mix of the uh, oil and gas um, professionals as well as the investment bank, you know, and other financial institutions, you know, that makes a platform for them to meet and network. That's what that what even was all about. Mm -hmm. So that's the area that I come in from. So yeah. an involvement. Are you seeing a lot more? F money people getting interested in this oil and gas and energy sector? As, yes, as actually obviously with the uh, current uh, environment, obviously with the uh, commodity prices going up as a huge uh, mm. demand for them, you know, because of the China, India and also the oil prices and so uh, obviously new projects are coming up um, and that obviously create a lot of opportunity for the investment banks and financial institution to come together and provide their services and you know the investments opportunities for these people right yeah right. Rebecca uh, do you see this as an invasion of turf by uh, by Fred's uh, <laughs> um, uh, uh, team no not at all tell um, us how, how, how you interact then how, how you share the pie then with, with this uh, energy well, people well I guess it's a booming market at the moment and Fred really focuses primarily on finance. Um, I focus a lot on the oil and gas technical events, so looking a lot at um, you know the upstream technical issues like subsea engineering or FPSO or LNG terminals. So there's not really an overlap. Um, although they do they do attract some finance people looking for business opportunities, they're really a lot more targeted towards technical people. Technical people, right. Mm. right. Um, how many events are you organising this year? I would like to see 10, at least 10 strong oil and gas conferences this year, as well as um, probably about 30 training courses. Mm -hmm. And what benefits are you bringing to the marketplace? Lots of benefits, I hope. Um, I'd like Go into the details. Yeah, um, networking opportunities. Um, because a lot of the events are technical, have a technical angle to them. Um, an opportunity for you know the key or senior technical um, executives and engineers to be able to learn how to um, you know conduct their projects more effectively or engineer their systems more effectively. So um, learning and networking really. Hmm. Could you tell us uh, some of the events you're planning f uh, for the rest of the year? W give us some, um, give away some of your secrets, please. Well, we've already had, um, we've already had some, obviously. Um, in January, we had LNG Tech, uh, which I think you may have endorsed or supported, which um, was very successful, looking at terminals and shipping. Um, we have FPSO coming up, which is a um, well, it's the, a launch event for us, but doing very, very well. Um, we've got Asia Bulk Liquid at the end of June. Uh, in the downstream side, we're looking at turbines, and I'd like to see that perhaps we, we run a chemical summit as well later in the year. But those are some of the, the key ones that spring to mind. What about upstream? Do you have anything upstream uh, coming up this year? Uh, FP, I'd like to see a lot more. That's a key growth area. Um, we're doing subsea engineering, an area I'd like to investigate further. And obviously, when is that? Probably November. Okay. Planned for November, quarter four at this point. Okay. Mm. Only one big one, or you can do more than one? Well, one definite big one at the moment. Um, 
but I'd like to, to play him for more. I'm still working on my quarter, okay. quarter four forward. Fred, um, any chance of you taking away her turf? Uh, you know, bring in more money guys, uh, <laughs> finance bankers, uh, get involved in, uh, in those events? Sure. No. Uh, what do you mean, sure? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, okay. the other way around. We actually do complement each other. Mm. Okay. So um, I'm trying to start a war. I know, I know. <laughs> no, I'm not taking away events. <laughs> but uh, my events, as I said, they're very finance investment um, related. So mm. I look into things like commodity financing, uh, look into the uh, you know project financing aspects of it, um, all the trade finance issues as well. Mm. Um, however, there is a we're looking into having certain events which we can work together and make it a bigger event so we both can Such combine. Well, this is uh, this a trade secret at the moment, oh. so I can't really disclose towards, it's very much quarter four and next year. So things like combining the investment community, what I did some of the events with the uh, oil and gas sector, the technical, the line managers and make it into a very, a week of one huge week of that the particular sector for oil and gas, it could be anything, for example, project financing, you know, you can touch on that. We are having this credit issue around the world now. Yeah. Has that had any impact on, on your, your, your business? Not for me, no, not in oil and gas. And I don't think it will for at least another year. $110 oil, eh? it's, yeah. it's, it's hard to, for, to see yeah. a credit yeah. problem. Exactly. What about your side? For, for me, uh, fortunately, I didn't I didn't had events as such which is directly with you know impacted by credit crunch. However, I know in the industry it's, itself, there are some conference organizers. You know the events such as uh, uh, things like uh, structured products or derivatives or uh, securitization mm -hmm. or some of these ones um, subprimes that they probably lost a bit of uh, delegates. You know because of this. Yeah. Right. Right.